Hello again. Uh, welcome back. It's been another while since I filmed a video. Um, I've been trying to kind of get back on the YouTube for a while now, but I've just, I haven't managed. I've just been a little bit too, I guess, shy. Um, but today I wanted to do a Jane Birkin makeup look just because I've been sort of, you know, on the um, Pinterest just exploring and trying to get inspired to make art and to cook and to just be productive during this time because this is quarantine time. So yes, I um, look very tired. We're just going to get started. So um, Jane Birkin, huh? if you don't know who she is, she is a British model who was married to Serge Gainsbourg. She was a model, an actress. Um, she was, she's, oh, she's, what's her, um, I think she's Lou Dillon's mom and she's Charlotte Gainsbourg, Charlotte Gainsbourg's mom. She just has this beautiful radiant smile and she's just so charming. Um, I've been a huge fan of her for a while. And I decided I kind of want to try to emulate her look. Now, I understand I have very different features than Jane Birkin, but I just sort of wanted to see if her look would sort of suit me and if I can make it work for my features. I'm not sure that Jane Birkin wore foundation. Like, I'm really not sure about any of her makeup routine um, based on the pictures that I've seen she really puts all the focus on her eyes um, but I think as you can see my skin can use just a little bit of help so I'm just gonna try this foundation out sorry tinted moisturizer out again um, so I just pumped a little bit here and then I'll quickly just apply the smallest amount onto my skin in hopes that it kind of helps to even out my skin tone. Okay, so that was the tinted moisturizer. It did a pretty okay job. It's I guess it's okay. I just hope it... I'm not going to wear it for a very long time, so I don't think it should break me out. So that's that. And then I'm quickly going to go um, into just a little bit of concealer. And lately I've been loving this e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the Satin Finish. is just really a lot so I might actually have to wipe some off too that looks okay okay so what I'm gonna use as the powder for my under eyes is this Maybelline super stay and I'll just take this on the back like on my finger and I'll just like gently pat it in using my ring finger to pat in the powder under my eyes and then I'll just take a little bit on this puff that it comes on with and then I'll just like set my nose just a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit of blush. I think I'm just going to use this one. It's called Sunset Passione and uh, it's by Maybelline, sorry, Milani. So I'm just going to sweep this on my cheekbones, mainly back here. So for lips, I'm going to use this Burt's Bees um, lip shimmer in the color Fig. Um, I like this stuff. It's pretty. 
pretty good. It's just like this sort of natural color. Um, figgy. For I think I'm gonna try the Anastasia Beverly Hills one because I just don't feel like I've gotten enough use out of it. But I'll see if I have to. I'll go over to the other palette. But the colors that stood out to me mo the most as Birkin-esque are the color Twig, Fresh, and Dystopian, which are these matte shades. This shade is so beautiful, but I think it's a little bit too warm. But um, I'm going to take this side, and I'm going to pick up Fresh. And I am going to apply that onto the brow bone and onto the whole lid space. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush, and this is my favorite cut crease, like crease brush I guess you can say, um, for these like 60s cut crease looks. It's a MAC 231. I have no idea. I think this is for lips, but I like it for a crease. And I'm going to take Twig, and I'm going to start to draw in my crease. So her crease, hold on. Okay, so I double checked Jane Merkin, Merkin, Jane Birkin's look, and she does go directly into her crease, so that's what I'm going to do as well. And she just sort of just pulls it out. She goes up in there. And then I'm going to look directly into my mirror. And I'm going to follow my crease line so gently. I'm really trying on this one. Well, I'll try on all of them, but. This is hard. If you make a mistake like I just did, just take, have like another brush handy and wipe it. Sort of like blend it out with that cream color. You should be fine. Okay, so that's the first one. And I'm going to do that to the other side. So that's the start. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush, and this brush is by Luxie. It's a mini flat angled brush, and this one works to just gently blend that crease up slightly. Now I can take this brush, another one of my favorite brushes for these 60s looks. This is the MAC 209 brush, and I'm now going to go into the shade Dystopian. Notice I'm sticking to all browns because unlike Twiggy's look, Jane's was also very soft. I think I, I already said that, but now this line I'm going to make sure I do my very best to keep this as straight as possible. Okay. 
so we can you can really see that line now right and you can see that it's not really soft but it just kind of gives your eyes this big sleepy look cool so that's that that's the second one <laughs> cool and we can really see that that just gives my eyes like a really cool 60s look I'm not saying it's flattering but I like it so I'm gonna take that cream shade again and I'm gonna go right back over my brow Boom. and the brow bone highlight and that's still matte right cool so now for the um, liner she had a very thin wing sorry a very thin line that went across her eye and it kind of just tapered off at the bottom so that's what I'm gonna attempt I'm gonna try it with a pro tip from Glossier and we're just gonna go at it I actually share a birthday with Jane Birkin, 14th of December, so she was a Sagittarius, cool, she seems like it, she, she seems like to, she has like really cool vibes. So for the um, under eyes, which is going to be hard, I'm going to do a couple of things. So I'm going to take this brush, run a little bit of eyeshadow underneath it, now this is just that shade twig again so light brown eyeshadow this is very similar to Sharon Tate's makeup um, and I'm also going to do the lashes and I'm going to try my very best to do it with this instead of an eyeliner because she did use brown and I'm just not very talented at drawing those little bottom lashes so she has me very oh my god I don't know how I'm gonna do this okay try it that's one So that seems to be working out. Okay, whoa, that's so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other eye off camera because this just is really hard. For my skin tone, in order for it to show up, I think I might have to go with something like this. So this is Maybelline Color Stay whatever in the shade live on the edge shade 5 and I'm going to I'm going to line my lip just a little bit okay the bottom one I think is a little bit too much, so I'm going to blend that out. This is a very pigmented lip product, and this I think is more Birkin-esque because it's just like a lip balm. It's slightly tinted, and I feel like it's just something that she would probably throw on, you know. But this is the sort of the Jane Birkin look that I kind of settled on. Um, I, I like it. Um, Four bangs, 
What I use to style them is I dry them with this and then I style them using this teeny tiny little straightener. I clip half of my bangs up so I separate them and then I just sort of try to I guess you can say I curl them I take the other half and I split that and then again Lastly, I take the last section and I curl that one in too. So it's fairly easy and um, I have pretty thick bangs so that was thanks, thanks to a drunken night of feeling like out of control. In the first week and a half of this quarantine I felt totally out of control and I thought to myself, hey, I think I need thicker bangs. <laughs> I have this texturizing spray that I like. It's called um, SGX NYC. This is it though. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I really enjoyed doing this look and experimenting with this 60s eye again. Um, I love doing these looks. These are my favorite. Well, I hope you enjoyed this look. Um, if you have any requests for any other videos, please let me know. And I hope you guys are having a really great day. So take care of yourself. Bye!